Bruh, for Pete's sake, Emily. You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Well, let's answer her, frankly. A message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. <laughs> At your service, madam. <laughs> In your dreams, he says. Okay. Well, let's look around. That's what we've been doing. The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's of box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise me. Hey, I do my best. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. <laughs> all right, can we move on now? I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. Hey, it's a chamber pot. I mean, who wouldn't want... Uh... An old chamber pot in their room. A what do we got fleece. here? It's freezing. Hurry up. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No. You are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer's been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Hmm. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, <laughs> you know opposites <laughs> attract, don't you? Oh, good move. Very smooth. Very smooth, Louis. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. The gospel according to Judas, or how to crucify Jesus as part of God's plan. You do realize that the contents of this book could undermine the very foundations of Christianity. One more reason to leave it in the secret room of a lost manor on a private island. Do you realize how important this book is? Of course, but what I really want to know is how did it come into Mortimer's possession? I was thinking the same thing about all the paintings and sculptures in the manor. Okay, let's uh, leave that for now. We have another coin here. Let's see, maybe a book? Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. It talks about his passion for art. Okay. Get here. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. The workmanship on this crown is amazing. 
The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. A crown worthy of an emperor. I'd stake my life that it's the genuine article. Do you know why laurel wreaths are used and not, say, mistletoe or another plant? The laurel wreath symbolized glory in Roman times. In your opinion, what kind would suit me best? Mm, a crown of nettles. Ooh. <laughs> I like the banter between these two. I was actually supposed to uh, look at my own side here, but... Uh... You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Uh, yeah, certainly it's the sword of King Arthur. I think this is Excalibur. King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet. You're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. Yeah. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? I'm trying. I, I am. I, I am trying. Let's Fragment pick uh, amber. more amber up. Why not? I want Here's something interesting. Wanted to A look at the other side, name. actually. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. That's How a bit odd. All these documents have Mortimer's signature on them. Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Let's uh, analyze these documents. Around the words. Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Very nice. What if there is more... These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are if troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Yep, let's, uh, let's do that. There is something in the back there. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Uh, that's a good point. So we could use um, psychology here. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want. What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit, you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. <laughs> fairly well, reliable. I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than incredibly that. Incredibly handsome. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily. I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses, and there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? I found uh, one, yes. 
you think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact, it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves and you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course, but what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. Hey, I was going to say. I have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Let me uh, quickly take a look here. Because I need to understand what these things do. Next skill use is free. Okay, that would be interesting. That is four. Reveal immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice. That is three. So, questioning is locked and conviction is locked. Oh, it's crystal clear. You don't like people telling you what to do, and you do like giving the orders to everyone. If I were the matron you speak of, I would have found an underling to search this place, and I would be sound asleep in my bed. Hmm. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since wow. no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Well, that's a good one. I, I mean, there's only men here. Or... How about my mother? It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard-hitting partner. Oh, God, do you really believe the nonsense that comes out of your mouth? Well, a second ago I did, a little. Sorry, Louis, your mother is not my partner. Okay. It's a member of the Order? Chances are, you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order other than ourselves are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. Incidentally, you must have noticed how inefficiently our order communicates internationally. Well now. Father, old husband. Or... Mother or sister. Is there something to be gained from... Uh, let's see from this I'm gonna say it is her mother why not your partner must be your mother I would need to know who she is first forgive me I, I didn't know I'm an orphan I thought you'd figured that out N no I, I didn't know otherwise I wouldn't have mentioned it now you know right time is short you haven't convinced me I prefer to remain discreet don't take it the wrong way. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. And if I reacted so strongly at the sight of the cameo pendant, it's because I thought it belonged to her. But it doesn't. I understand. I won't insist. Close, but no cigar. It's time to leave. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit it has been fun by your side. Same here. She's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Uh, wait, what? I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louie, we need to talk now. So now Otherwise I have to choose? Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but... If I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Wow. Well, actually, Elizabeth blew me off. And... 
Emily invited me in my room. Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. Yep, that's gonna be a, a choice that I might regret later. <laughs> well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. I did. What did our poor Elizabeth want? The real question would be this. What exactly are you doing, Emily, in my room? I've enjoyed our discussions very much, and I had hoped that we could continue them. Emily, have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead, ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out oh. who. So that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. Uh, I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris. In connection with Mr. Von Borsche, you managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Oh man, I cannot use that. I cannot use that. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries? Al Azif? That's right, Louis. A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with her when she came. This is quite fascinating. Really? But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? Okay, I do want uh, this to succeed, actually. If only I knew myself. My mother always takes a sly pleasure in telling me as little as possible. Ah, look at that. Exploited oh, vulnerability. Lily. Your mother hides things from you. That's not very nice. No, it's not nice well, at all. Well, you hide stuff from and me you. too, Emily. What were you supposed to do once the book was found? Give it to our sponsor, of course. Sir Gregory has more than one card up his sleeve. So you mean home is playing both sides? Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. Uh, yes, please. Is that going to unlock uh, a Steam accomplishment? I mean, she's playing me, that much is certain. I have to go, Louis. I don't want anyone finding me here in the morning. You're right. Well, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. Well, that happened. I unlocked Trade Libertine. Okay, I'm curious to see what that's all about. There's another vision coming. Or? Make yourself a presentable, uh, Louis. I mean... Monsieur de Richet, at last we meet. Okay. Here he is. The man of the hour. Okay, a little bit of more successful part here. I resolved the enigma of the Medusa. Discovered Lord Mortimer's room. Found out that Emily was hiding something. I preferred to join Emily in my room and spend the night with her. I didn't persuade her to tell me her secret, and I could have found out more about the past of Elizabeth and my mother. That's another level up. So what are we gonna take now? Um, I thought I had questioning. Hmm. Where are we gonna put our points? The only point uh, or the only skill that I do not have at the moment is actually logic. So I'm gonna unlock that at least. 
And then I do want uh, my manipulation to be higher, although I, I haven't really been able to use it a lot, to be fair. And that's going to be 11 points. That's going to be a lot to unlock that. But if I unlock manipulation on level 3, uh, that is... I Oh no, I need this on level... I need this on level 2 as well, I think. Subterfuge, yeah. That would um, give me the Master Occultist talent, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I need Subterfuge on level 2 as well. Okay, let's get Subterfuge to level 2, why not? That at least makes uh, opening these locks, I hope, free. So I should have every skill now. Or wasn't there one... Obtain all level 1 skills. Ah, the complete. Okay, okay, that's something else. Yeah, the, the complete level 1. Oh, wow. Okay, that, that is probably not gonna happen. 